Hi, I'm Leah and you are watching Foodies TV, the only video platform for restaurant reviews and food culture. We bring you the best reviews and videos from all around the world on our website. And we also help you discover the best food this world has to offer. Three Star Stories is our special project. In it, we follow the elite group of restaurants who hold three Michelin stars. And there is only one person on the entire planet who has eaten in all of them. Andy Haler. And today we asked Andy something that makes me very excited. What were the best desserts he ever had in three Michelin star restaurants? Get ready, they're going to be hard to resist. Thank you, Liam. So the dessert I'd like to describe now is from the, the Ritz in London, where John Williams is the head chef. And it's known for its particularly strong pastry section in the kitchen. Um, the dessert is called Gâteau Saint Honoré and it's actually named after the patron saint of pastry chefs, Saint Honoré. Uh, you may not realise there was one, but there is. Um, as you can see, the, the dish is very pretty um, and it's quite elaborate. So there's a lot of different layers and different bits of work involved in this. Um, but the great thing is the combination of the textures and flavours together when you eat them together are absolutely glorious. So this is a real old-fashioned classical French dessert. The next uh, dessert I'd like to talk about is the grapefruit meal fruit from Le Sainc in Paris, where Christian Le Square is currently the head chef. He was previously at Le Doyen, uh, where he developed this dish. And the dessert basically takes sort of grapefruit, which is not that common to be used in, in, in classic desserts, but takes it to a whole new level. So you have a layer of confit grapefruit, which has been um, topped with a layer of grapefruit infused with vanilla and lime, um, and finally a layer of grapefruit sorbet. As you can see, it's a very beautiful dish, but as you cut through it, you combine these different textures of grapefruit, um, it works beautifully. And there's just enough sugar added to the various elements to avoid it being too sharp. So it's a lovely balance of sweetness and acidity. The next dessert is from one of my favourite restaurants called Hotel de Vie in Crissier in Switzerland, uh, which has held three Michelin stars for the uh, best part of 40 years under four different chefs. Um, now this particular dessert uh, features pineapple, which is you know, unusual in terms of a really high-end French classical pastry. Um, here what you have is a pineapple that's been marinated uh, in sort of syrup, and so it's particularly sort of delicate and it's topped with a coconut snow and served with a rum sauce. Now pineapple and rum are a very classic combination. What the coconut does is add freshness and so the dish works extremely well when you combine these flavours together. So it's a very fresh dessert. So the next dessert we're in, in France again and we're at Peak in Valence, uh, where Anne-Sophie Peak is the chef who has retained the three stars that the family originally got back in 1933 when the Michelin Guide first introduced the system. Now this dessert is a chocolate arch with cherries and chocolate and cherries are a great combination. If you think about Black Forest Gatto for example, um, the idea is that the cherries provide the acidity to cut through the richness of the chocolate. The chocolate here is a Valrona chocolate is actually made specifically for peak um, and is particularly rich and velvety. So you have this glorious combination of rich chocolate, just enough sharpness from the cherries to, to make it not overwhelmingly rich. And uh, as you see, it's an absolutely beautiful dish. So for this dessert, we return to Switzerland, this time to Basel, where uh, Peter Knergel is the head chef of three Michelin star Cheval Blanc, just by the, by the river. Um, Peter had a very classical education and this is reflected in uh, the pastry section and here we have a very elaborate dessert of Garriguette strawberries which are wild strawberries and here we can see that they're in several forms so there is a mousse, there is just the regular strawberries, confit strawberries and just um, just slightly enhanced by a little sort of lime cress so it's just a little bit of a lime just to give a little bit of freshness and it's a very very pretty dish but also one which just although it seems almost simple in a way uh, the strawberry flavour is so terrific 
and we've almost forgotten what strawberries taste like, I think, in, in the UK anyway. Um, and here they, they taste exactly what strawberries should taste like. And it's a, it's a beautiful dessert. Thanks, Andy. That looked yummy. Our three star stories continue. Do you want to see the fantasy meal Andy created from all the restaurants he's ever visited? Or learn about the most bizarre dishes he ever had? Then don't stop here and continue to explore our videos. Enjoy. Thank you.